Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best 3D printers in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 10. Prusa Mini Plus. With a bright orange 3D printed LCD enclosure, the Prusa Mini Plus is immediately identifiable as a smaller relative of the popular Prusa i3MK3S 3D printer. Just like the MK3S, the Mini Plus is designed with user experience in mind, and the color touchscreen, easily removable build platform, and automatic leveling process all come together to create a seamless process from slicing to printing a model. Available either as a DIY kit or a fully assembled unit, the Prusa Mini Plus is a printer that is designed with trouble-free 3D printing in mind. The automatic mesh bed leveling means you'll spend less time leveling the bed with a piece of printer paper and more time removing printed parts from the flexible magnetic print platform. Models are prepared using the included Prusa Slicer software, an easy-to-use and capable slicer app designed for the Mini Plus and larger MK3S machines. The small footprint of the Mini Plus makes it an ideal 3D printer for use in a print farm or anywhere that desk space is tight. The build volume of 7 inches cubed can accommodate a wide range of geometries, and the high build volume to printer footprint ratio directly translates into a machine that can be used for pumping out parts without taking up too much shelf space. Prusa has even added an Ethernet port to this machine in anticipation of this use case, something you won't typically find on most FDM 3D printers. Number 9. Elego Saturn. The Elego Saturn is the counterpart to the smaller Elego Mars series of printers, which offer solid build quality for a reasonable price. The Saturn takes this formula to the extreme by offering a large 7.55 by 4.72 x 7.87 inch build volume while simultaneously increasing the resolution of the masking LCD. This, combined with the 2.5 second per layer cure time from the mono LCD, means that the Saturn can print more parts in the same amount of time as the smaller format Mars series of printers. Elego has developed a two-bolt bed leveling solution for the Saturn that makes the leveling process a quick and painless process. This, combined with the native integration with the Chittabox Slicer app, makes setting up and using the Saturn a simple process that is ideal for both beginners as well as experienced users. The Saturn has a build volume of 280.46 cubic inches, a dramatic increase from the 100.81 cubic inch build volume of the smaller Elego Mars 2 Pro. If you're looking for a resin printer that offers a large build volume but you don't want to compromise with a lower quality print, the Saturn is an ideal solution but you might have to check Amazon several times before you can find one. Number 8. Anycubic Viper. The Anycubic Viper is designed for high-throughput 3D printing, and impressed us with its rock-solid build construction and impressive list of features. Silent stepper drivers, dual Z-threaded rods and a high airflow part cooling system are just a few of the many features that make the Viper an easy choice for anyone interested in printing out large quantities of parts. The strain gauge bed leveling system allows the Viper to quickly and accurately complete an automatic mesh bed calibration. This form of calibration is ideal for anyone who doesn't want to spend a lot of time tweaking or calibrating the printer, and it worked well during testing and didn't require any further adjustments to get an even first layer. The Viper isn't the cheapest printer on this list, but it earned its place by providing a fast setup and trouble-free operation throughout our testing. The Viper was designed with an impressive level of attention to detail, and the various areas on a 3D printer that would require adjustment, extruder, X, Y belts, etc., are all easily accessible and adjustable. The included Kura Slicer app is easy to use, but the printer profile that ships with the machine might require some tweaking that beginning users may struggle with. Number 7. Creality Ender 2 Pro If you're looking for your first 3D printer and don't want to spend a lot of money, the Ender 2 Pro is a great choice. The machine retails for $169, but can often be found on sale for much less. Many printers at this price point are novelties built of cheap plastic, but the Ender 2 Pro is a solid workhorse that shares many parts with its big brothers of the Ender 3 line. Putting together the Ender 2 Pro was a breeze for us. It comes 90% assembled, screw in a few bolts and the machine is ready for use. 
It has silent stepper drivers and quiet cooling fans, making it a pleasant office companion. The flexible textured bed holds models tight while printing and peels right off when finished. The Ender 2 Pro can be easily upgraded with third-party hot ends and more durable bed surfaces, making this a machine that can grow with you. Number 6. Voxelab Aquila S2. If you want to print with PLA filament, any competent FDM printer can get the job done. ABS and PTG materials are a bit more demanding, but still usable on a high-quality machine. But if you want to use more exotic materials such as nylon or carbon fiber, you'll need a printer that can get much hotter than the 240-degree cap we see on popular models like the Creality Ender 3 Pro. Able to reach up to 300-degree temperatures thanks to its aluminum nozzle, the Voxelab Aquila S2 can produce gorgeous prints with filaments that other models can't handle. In our tests, it produced a highly detailed print of Benchy, a boat commonly used as a test model, in nylon. It also provided strong output when we tried a detailed bust of Groot with PLA. Aquila S2's magnetic build plate is flexible, with both a textured side and a smooth side. The open-air printer is fairly easy to set up and uses a 4.3-inch display with a dial as its interface. It comes with two different slicer apps, Ultimaker Cura and Voxelmaker, though the former is the industry standard and the one you'll most likely want to use. The biggest downside to Voxelab's printer is that it requires manual bed leveling so you'll need to do that work if you want to ensure you get a good first layer. Number 5. Voxelab Ares. It can be hard to find a single 3D printer that does everything well, but the Voxelab Ares is an impressive machine that offers high-performance printing at a budget price without compromising on build quality. The Ares is designed to be a beginner-friendly machine, and the semi-automated three-point bed leveling process means you can be up and printing in less than an hour after opening the box. The Ares features a Core XY motion system, which means the build platform remains stationary during printing, and only moves down in the Z direction during layer changes. This means that the printed part is not moved back and forth during printing which makes it easier to print tall, thin parts without worrying about them toppling over. In addition, features like the built-in Wi-Fi allow the Ares to be started remotely, which is ideal for anyone who doesn't like moving files back and forth via microSD card or USB flash drive. Selling for a very reasonable $299, the Voxelab Ares is a 3D printer that punches way above its weight class, and offers a lot to anyone interested in a plug-and-play 3D printer. The simple, guided setup and easy-to-read LCD screen on the Voxelab makes it ideal for classroom and library use, and the durable plastic enclosure is perfect for young learners. For anyone interested in a more hands-on experience who wants to build the printer themselves, the Creality Ender 3 Pro is slightly less expensive and offers a more modular system. Number 4. Frozen Sonic Mini 8K If you're looking for the most precise prints around, the Frozen Sonic Mini 8K is your best choice. This MSLA resin 3D printer sports a 7.1-inch mono LCD screen that operates at 7500 by 3240 which results in a show-stopping 0.22mm XY resolution, the highest on the market. It comes fully assembled and is easy to use, just calibrate and go. It also boasts native integration with both the Chittabox and Lychee Slicer apps. Combine the Sonic Mini 8K with Frozen's Aqua Grey 8K resin and you'll see smoother prints with more crispy details than ever before. The Frozen Sonic Mini 8K has a sturdy metal build, dual rails, and an all-metal vat with feet that prevent the FEP sheet from touching your work surface. The build plate is laser-etched for amazing adhesion. Selling for a retail price of $599.99 the Frozen Sonic Mini 8K is targeted towards miniature makers and jewelry designers who are ready to level up their prints. For beginners looking for a high-resolution machine at a lower cost, the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K offers. 0.35 mm XY with the same speed and precision for $349. Number 3. Prusa MK3S Plus. Considered the best 3D printer overall by many aficionados, the Prusa MK3S Plus has received countless industry accolades and awards, and with good reason. The MK3S Plus is a powerhouse 3D printer that combines reliable hardware, feature-rich software, 
and a support channel that makes the Prusa Signature Black and Orange hardware a common sight in 3D printing farms. The MK3S Plus is based on the i3 platform and has benefited from several generations of incremental upgrades which have resulted in one of the best 3D printers on the market. Silent stepper drivers, removable textured build platforms, automatic bed leveling probe and more. The list of features that come stock on the Prusa MK3S Plus is certainly impressive, but that's only part of the story with the MK3S Plus. Prusa has developed their own slicer app, Prusa Slicer, for processing 3D models and is actively adding new features requested by the community. Features like the ability to paint on support material, create variable layer heights and generate custom printer profiles are examples of how Prusa Slicer enables the MK3S Plus to leap ahead of the competition. At a price point of $999 for an assembled printer and $749 for a DIY kit, the MK3S Plus is one of the most expensive machines on this list. That price may raise some eyebrows among 3D printing enthusiasts who have become accustomed to printers in the sub-$300 price range, but for power users who need uncompromising performance and industry-leading documentation and support, the MK3S Plus is at the top of the list. Number 2. Anycubic Cobra. Dot if you're looking for a 3D printer that delivers excellent quality while also being easy to operate, the Anycubic Cobra is for you. A fun hobby. Dot it's so easy to assemble, you'll be printing within 30 minutes of unboxing. It has an easy to load direct drive and an auto bed leveling system that takes the headache out of achieving a perfect first layer. The print surface is a magnetic plate with a PEI coating that grips while hot and magically releases when cool. Be sure to add a roll of filament to your cart when buying the Anycubic Cobra because you'll be printing up a storm on its generous 220x220x250 print volume. Number 1. Creality Ender 3 Pro If you ask someone involved with 3D printing what their first machine was, there's a good chance they'll tell you it was the Creality Ender 3 Pro. A wildly popular 3D printer, the Ender 3 Pro packs a powerful punch in the form of a low-cost machine that has an almost endless supply of readily available upgrades to adapt it to your specific needs. Whether you want a 3D printer to convert into a laser engraver, a pen plotter, or just a printer to print specialized high-temperature materials, the Ender 3 Pro can accommodate you with no issues. The Ender 3 Pro arrives as a kit in need of assembly, so you'll want to put aside at least a few hours to build, calibrate, and possibly troubleshoot your new machine before using it. The Ender 3 Pro has a 350W power supply, so the bed and heated nozzle heat up quickly and keep a consistent temperature when printing. Creality has released all of the mechanical and electrical schematics for this machine under an open source license, so it's easy to find upgrades and modifications that have been built using these blueprints. If you love to tinker and can't wait to turn your 3D printer into a custom build, it's hard to go wrong with the Creality Ender 3 Pro.